Hello guys! In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to write, upload and execute your first Arduino compatible sketch on Udo. In nerds jargon, this is usually referred as hello world, aka the first basic command you give to a device. Our hello world will be a blinking LED, simple as it sounds. So let's get our hands dirty. First of all, we are going to connect our LED to the right GPIO on Udo. LEDs usually have a longer pins, which is the anode or positive, and a shorter one, which should be connected to ground. So, connect the longer pin of the LED to GPIO 13 and the shorter pin to ground. Then, Plug everything you need to start Udo and power it up. On this tutorial, we will cover only the programming via Udo's operating system, but you can use the exact same code while programming via an external PC. Ok, now turn Udo on, and when Ubuntu Desktop appears, open the Arduino IDE. Once it's open, you see some line of code. They contain basically two parts that are needed in every Arduino sketch. Void setup. This comes at the beginning. Insert here environmental values. And then we have void loop. Here you put your main code, which has to be executed repeatedly. The code must be contained between brackets. OK. Now we insert the proper code. First, we are gonna name our GPIO pin. We name GPIO 13 LED. Then we configure our GPIO as an output. OK, now we set the pin state to I. That means our LED will turn up. To execute this command, let's upload this to the sum 3 x It's a good practice to give your code a second look, just to spot some typos or logic errors. When you're sure everything is fine, click on Upload. This will both check the sketch and upload it to the sum 3 x when your code has been loaded into the SAMTRAX, magic will happen. The LED will lit. To turn our LED off, we just set its value to low. Ok, now we know how to turn the LED on and off, changing their state. But what about using these two states combined to have a blinking LED? The logic behind this is that we turn the state high, then we keep these states for some time and then we set it to low. Keep this some time again and then restart it in a loop. To ensure that our LED blinks and doesn't just lit on and off, we set these logical states into a loop that we repeat these actions forever, or <laughs> until we stop it. Now verify and upload this sketch to the SAM3X as you did before, and enjoy your LED blinking. Want to get your hands even dirtier? Our next tutorials are just waiting for you. 